Hey y'all, it's Thomas of Crony24 here in New York City, and you're probably wondering why we called this meeting. Well, it has come to our attention that we have hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel, and that means that we'll be giving one of you $10,000 towards your Nets watch purchase on Corona24. At the end of the video, we'll be selecting our lucky winner and stay tuned until then because we're gonna run through three tips for making a satisfying watch purchase. Let's jump in. Tip number one, let's start by talking about condition. Now condition is important as you know, you don't wanna buy a bad version of a good watch. Also, especially if you're going vintage, condition is paramount. For older watches, you'll wanna know what kind of service costs you might be in for. I mean, those triple calendar chronographs are beautiful, but they're very complicated and they're not getting any younger. Also, let's take a second and talk about polishing. Now, in previous decades, previous generations, this was not the faux pas that it is today. So you may find some really good watches out there that have or may have been touched up in the past. This by itself is not a deal breaker. What you wanna look out for is over polishing. And by that, I mean polishing that's uneven or done so much that it compromises the architectural integrity of the case. Number two is fit and sizing. Now this is gonna be one of the biggest factors that actually impacts your happiness of having the watch on the wrist. If it's too big or it's too small, you're not gonna to wanna to wear it and that is money lost. There are various elements, as you know, that contribute to the overall sizing of a watch. Case diameter, lug to lug, and thickness are some big ones, but you'll wanna try some on your wrist to feel what's right for you. Think of it more like sweatshirt sizing versus shoe sizing. There is some flexibility here and some of it does come down to personal preference. I typically like mine a little bit on the smaller side. It's a little more elegant, a little bit more manageable and you're not thinking about the watch on your wrist. Finally, have fun with it. There are so many cool little corners in the watch world. So whether your thing is mid-century chronographs, military pilots watches, French brutalism, you name it. If you add something new to the conversation and you find a watch that feels uniquely you, you will thank yourself every day. Thank you to all of you for getting us here. 100,000 subscribers is a big deal. It is an absolute privilege to be doing these videos. We read every single one of your comments and we love building a community that pushes the conversation forward. Now, without further ado, shall we pick a winner? All right, here we go. Let's pick our $10,000 winner. So I have pulled up the YouTube video that Pascal and I made when we first announced this giveaway. We're going to take the URL, plug it in to our comment picker here. Now, while we're waiting, the question becomes, what do you do with $10,000? You have so many options, half a million watches on Corona 24. Do you play it safe? Do you go for something that's more investment level? You go and go vintage, something a little funky something you've always had your eye on. I would probably do maybe an older Speedmaster. I still don't have one in my collection. Maybe one of the Tritium ones, like a 145, something that shows some age to it. Still very classic, wearables in so many different scenarios. I think as of right now, gun to the head, that's probably what I would choose. But hey, it's not my choice and it's not even my money, so do whatever the hell you want. We had over 20,000 comments for this video, but only one person can walk away with a $10,000 voucher towards your Nets watch purchase on Chrono 24. Now with $10,000, you could buy 12 different Seikos and just wear one a month for a year and then just start that rotation all over again. Do whatever you want to. And with that said, let's pick a winner. And boom, we have a winner. By the name of Hussein. He picked under 1K Tissot Gentleman, under 2K Vintage Omega Seamaster, under $5,000 the Grand Seiko SBGW231, under 7K the Warlet's Oyster Perpetual with the green dial, and under 10K, this was made a while ago, the Rolex GMT Master 2. Great choice is what we are going to do now. I'm just going to copy his name and make sure that he is indeed subscribed to our channel. Go down, fans and followers, YouTube, copy, paste, enter, and boom, done. Yep, he is subscribed. He commented, 
and his comments match our criteria. What we are going to do now, because we need to make sure that he is a real person that we can verify, so we are going to drop a comment. Congratulations. YouTube winner at chrono24.com to claim your prize. Congratulations to you, Hussein. You have won $10,000 towards your Nets purchase on Chrono24. Thank you everyone who watched these videos, who subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. I'm Thomas of Chrono24. We'll have more videos coming out all the time, maybe even another contest, who knows? In the meantime, enjoy your watches.